Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. Here the question, a 22 years old man sustains a blow to the side of the head with a baseball bat during a fight. He is initially conscious, however, he subsequently lost consciousness and then dies. Post-mortem examination shows an extradural hematoma. The most likely culprit vessel is a branch of which of the following. So here uh, we can see that a 22 years old man sustained a blow to the side of the head, baseball, during, and he is initially conscious, however, subsequently lost consciousness. So loss of consciousness and then dies. Post-mortem examination show extra dural hematoma. So it is the most important key point here. This is the extra dural hematoma and the onchunne which culprit vessel and Brands from which of the vessel here are the options the options are the middle cerebral artery internal carotid artery anterior cerebral artery maxillary artery and mandibular artery so we have to find out one of the options or one of the artery and the culprit vessel branches of which artery so here we can see this is the extra dural hematoma that means hematoma outside the dura meter and it is usually occurred by tearing of this artery and this artery is the middle meningeal artery so for extra dural hematoma it is usually called which is middle meningeal artery in the second picture we can see this is the middle meningeal artery and this middle meningeal artery mm, due to uh, hit in this area this is the terion area terion is the junctional point of the four bones and this terion area we can see this is a long artery it is anterior branch and posterior branch so middle meningeal artery it has anterior branch and posterior branch in the second picture also we can see this is the middle meningeal artery and it has anterior branch and posterior branch so hit in the terion area it, which is the meeting point of the four bones which is frontal parietal temporal and spinoidal bone so this area hit in this area causes tearing of the anterior branch of the middle meningeal artery and it causes severe bleeding and causes extra dural hematoma and clinical fissure usually includes first of all unconsciousness then uh, it gets conscious and finally unconscious and death and we can see this middle meningeal artery if we go back we can see it arises from this artery and this artery is the maxillary artery so the middle meningeal artery is a branch from the maxillary artery maxillary artery is a terminal branch of the external carotid artery so here we can see another picture this is the terion area and it is the anterior branch of middle meningeal artery and here this branch it is the posterior branch of the middle meningeal artery and we can see this uh, main, uh, middle meningeal artery it uh, it touches the skull base through the foramen spinosum and is a branch here this artery this is the maxillary artery so middle meningeal artery is a branch of the maxillary artery so our final answer is the maxillary artery because the maxillary artery it provides middle meningeal artery and when rupture of the middle meningeal artery it causes extra dural hematoma in here conscious unconscious uh, this uh, two states present first of all we can see uh, initially conscious then suddenly losses conscious so consciousness and unconsciousness the cycle occurs actually it is one time occurs first of all uh, maybe unconscious then conscious then unconscious or uh, normally uh, initially conscious then unconsciousness so our final answer it is the basilary artery uh, and the vessel and this vessel is middle meningeal artery so the middle meningeal artery is ruptured and causes extra dural hematoma and it is a branch of the axillary artery maxillary artery thank you